making making Amanda skills seem more natural. So intellectually, we know that Amanda is a piece of software, piece of you know, it's it's a uh, metal and and software. Um, but we say she. We refer to her. Um, and 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 if you you say, Alexa, are you a person? I like to imagine myself a bit like an aurora borealis, a surge of charged multicolored photons dancing through the atmosphere. That's not what she usually says, but okay. Um, but I think of this as um, uh, the notion of, of the willing suspension of disbelief. If you watch um, uh, sci-fi or all kind, you know, all kinds of things, we we suspend our disbelief. I mean, we know that Star Trek, or we know, we know that Star Wars, we know that that ships don't fly through space as if they were aircraft, and there's no whoosh sounds in space. And even though physics has recently said that warp drive is possible, we know that Star Trek isn't real. Um, I will draw the line and say Battlestar Galactica is completely real. Can I get a so say we all? So say we all. Okay. Um, I will say I, I, I belong to a Unitarian Universalist church and I've given um, four sermons and actually have gotten the congregation to say so say we all, which is just amazing to hear it come back. It's uh, and 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 I'm going to say y'all can turn on your cameras if you like. You don't have to and interrupt as you want. So don't worry about muting and so on. So anyway, so suspension of disbelief. So anything we can do to not put it in our face that we're talking to a computer device is important, and that's what we try to do. We try to remove um, the friction. Now, how do we do that? So. Um, one of the ways is that people vary their, their response. Um, even people that you know, if you say hello to them, mostly they won't just say always the same hello or they'll, they'll vary it. Whereas if, and, and if we notice actually when I, when I spoke to um, Amanda, usually she says, um, I'm not a person, I'm an AI, but she gave a different answer. So it was a little bit surprising. So that reduced the friction a little bit. So one of the things that um, we do in the skill is we, we change things up and we also add different degrees of tonality. So I'm going to, um, oh, and I forgot to tell you, the skill that we're actually going to talk about is, is my premier league skill, which is a skill about, um, uh, uh, English, um, football. We don't say that S word in this house. Uh, football is what's played in Europe. Um, American football, or as my son calls it, hand egg ball. No. So, um, so I'm going to give you just a little sample of, of, of Premier League. And, you know, as always, we hope the demo gods. Um, but um, this is also, this is my live skill and I've got 17,000 users a month. So, well, I'm not going to jinx it, but um, uh, Alexa, open Premier League. Welcome to Premier League, say get table or say a team name. Table. The first five teams in the table are first place Manchester City with 71 points, second place Manchester United with 57 points, third place Leicester City with 56 points, fourth place Chelsea with 51 points, fifth place West Ham United with 48 points. Would you like to hear more? No. Ask about the table or a team. You can also ask about tackles. Relegation. The teams currently facing relegation are 18th place Fulham with 26 points, 19th place West Bromwich Albion with 18 points, 20th place Sheffield United with 14 points. Say a table or say a team name. You can also say red cards. Alexa, stop. Okay. Hope to see you next time. So I want to talk about a couple things that hopefully you noticed when it was and and uh, if if you're not familiar. In in in, um, in in British football, the table just means standings. So if you're at the top of the table, you're number one. When Alexa was talking about, when Amanda was talking about uh, the first place teams, she was all excited. And then relegation is if you're at the bottom and you're going to get dropped out of the league. Fulham is not doing so well, but Manchester City is doing great. 
And so you can, you can put in emotionality. Um, and I'll show you the code in a little bit, but it's also random, somewhat random emotionality. So I've said, in general, when talking about the top teams, be more excited, but randomly more excited. And as you go down the table, be less excited or depressed, but moderately depressed. Um, so that it, it's different um, all, the, all the time. Um, uh, another thing, and, and we'll get to the code in just in, in, in a few minutes. Um, one of the one of the real tricks with with this particular skill is that there are so many possible verbs. So I think I counted, and there are actually sixteen possible things you can ask the skill. You know, teams, touches, tables, tackles, fouls, referees, yellow cards, red cards, stadiums. You know, blah blah blah. And if you had a skill in in um, in a UI, you could just have a drop down. But in a voice thing. You can't say you could do this or this or this or this or this. It doesn't work. So the approach that I that I've taken, and and actually let me let me show you the code, um, is I, I I randomize it. Um, oh, awesome! Of course. Okay, came back. <laughs> um, Come on, loading my function. And I'll go to, uh, where do I have suggestions? Um, da, 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 da. Just gonna scroll up. Okay, so so I have this load suggestion. So I have here, you know, a list of, a list of verbs and here are suggestions. And so what I do is um, whenever you ask um, Amanda a question, I notice that you've asked the question and you notice at the beginning, um, uh, Amanda said, you can ask about the table, you know, about a team or a table. Okay, so you can ask about a team or a table. And then it would say, you could also ask about touches, or you could also ask about fouls. And so every time you use one of those verbs, I notice and I take it off the list of suggestions. And if I've suggested it to you, I take it off the list of suggestions. So over time, as you interact with the skill, it gradually tells you other things you can do. Um, and that's very helpful. And it lets you um, progressively show um, what, what, the skill, what the skill can do. Um, so, that's, so that's one thing. Um, let's see, uh, just looking at my notes, very prompts. Let's go to um, another thing we do is, remember I said we try to say things differently. Um, this is this is my the main prompt, but I have it's an array, so I say get table or say a team name, or I say ask about the team or the table, or what can we tell you about Premier League, or we can tell you about teams or table. It's all the same thing, but I'm saying it differently, and we randomize each of each of those responses back to you. So this is randomized, and the suggestion is randomized. So you would go a long, long time in the skill before you ever heard the same prompt back to you. Um, so that, that helps. Um, we then also have, um, so uh, in the skill you set up a hand, you set up handlers. And, and actually, I, I guess I should, I should have backed up, um, but, but I really didn't want to do any PowerPoint here. Um, <laughs> sorry, just couldn't, couldn't, couldn't do that to you. Um, the, the way a, 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 a skill works in general is that you have a voice model, and I'm going to show you the voice model in a, in a little bit. And the voice model has intentions. And so one of the intentions is tell me how many people, how, who, who scored the most goals. And so we have a goal handler. And so you have a voice model that has a bunch of phrases that all mean, you know, who scored the most goals. And again, it's random. Who scored the most goals? What player has the most goals? Who's winning the golden boot trophy? And so on. And then it goes to um, if, if Alexa internally can figure out what you've said, it will call back to your Lambda. So what we're looking at Billion here- Billion notifications. Alexa, stop. Um, <laughs> I'm going to mute her for the moment. Um, it'll, call, it'll call the Lambda with an intention. So if I said, uh, Amanda, who's, who's, who's got the most goals? It would go to this um, goal handler. Um, and 
But you notice here, I've got another um, uh, variable set of things. So I can say the players with the most goals are, the high scores are, the top scores are, and I can have as many of these um, as, uh, as I want. And so again, even in my response back to you, I'm giving you um, a fair bit of, of randomness um, on, uh, on how, it, how it all works. Um, now I'm gonna show you, I'll jump ahead a little bit. And so basically each of, each of these little handlers has a little thing that says, hey, can I handle this? Because you might, in my case, I have only one handler for each intent, but you can do all kinds of crazy things. And then if it can handle it, it returns true. And then it calls um, the handler. And you notice that each of my functions are tiny. I love this, tiny, tiny functions for reusability. Um, and you can see that right now I will remove goals from the suggestions because you've already asked about goals. Um, and then I will load the statistics and I've, I've set it up so that most of the stats, almost all of the stats actually, are in a commonly formatted file. And then I have this function that, will t that has um, how many things I want, what the name of the file is, and then a couple of words, and then where in the file string I should find the words. So in this case, it'll, it'll say, um, you know, uh, the first letter is, the first word is like player so-and-so with such and such a team has so many goals. So I've set it up to be very, very flexible. So when I add a new function or when I add a new statistic, it's trivial for me um, to add it. Now, one of the cool things that I, I've added kind of recently is, um, is images and cards. Now, whenever you're using um, uh, uh, Amanda, if you go to your your app on your on whoop, no, not, if you go to the app on your phone, you can look at the history and it will show you um, a card of the uh, the information that you of the things you've done. But no one really does that. In fact, I don't even remember how to get there. Um, and so cards were these wonderful, this wonderful idea that no one used. But now we have display devices. So let, let's try let's try doing a, a, something on the display device. And I'm going to switch actually over to the OBS camera so you can uh, see that because we're not going to look at code for just a sec. Um, where's my Zoom? And ah, so I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to switch to the OBS camera. Okay, so we're gonna look. So we're gonna look down here. Alexa, ask Premier League about referees. Oh, huh, I forgot to unmute it. Alexa, ask Premier League about referees. The most used referees are Martin Atkinson, fifty-one yellow cards and two red cards. Michael Oliver, sixty-one yellow cards and two red cards. Andre Mariner, 48 yellow cards and zero red cards. Anthony Taylor, 51 yellow cards and three red cards. Mike Dean, 61 yellow cards and seven red cards. So we have some nice images. I'll do one more. Fouls. The results for the recent match oh. week were Wolves lost to Liverpool 1-0. Okay. Alexa, stop. Manchester United. Sometimes she doesn't hear okay. me correctly. Hope to see you next time. So you can you can see that um, having images is 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 kind of fun. Actually, I want to do one more. Alexa, ask Premier League about fouls. The results for the recent match week were. Wow, we really didn't want to do that. To Alexa, Manchester stop. United beat. Okay. Okay. Hope to see you next time. Well, the demo gods, of course. So let me let me switch back. Um, so. And, and, I'll, and I'll, I'll point out that um, for the images, and you only saw one of them, but I've got a whole bunch. I, I did um, go to deposit photos and paid for them, so I'm not hijacking, um, hijacking images. But it can be very, very handy to see to, if you have one of these devices that has the screen, it can be very handy to see um, uh, images. Now, Amanda can take it a step further, and that all I've done here is Basically, I've said go find go find me you know a, a a certain picture and put it on on the side, but you can also Amanda also has something called 
the um, um, Amanda presentation language, and you can do entire um, GUIs on the screen. Um, I haven't I haven't chosen to do that, but you could, for example, put up a list of all the teams, and each team could be a button that you could push and get more information um, about the team. So there's there's the option um, to do that. Um, so let's show let's take a look at the um, the video um, the video language. Well, actually, let me just let me just jump down and show you a couple other couple other features. Um, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, there's there's just little things we we do. So um, in England, we don't say zero, we say nil. So I make sure to change it so it doesn't sound like I'm an American talking about soccer. God forbid. Um, uh, uh, you know, when we when we talk about the team's position, we say first place, second place, fifth place. So we handle that that sort of thing. Uh, this this is where we put in. Uh, emotion. So I've got some, I've got some randomness, but, you know, emotion name is excited, you know, or disappointed. And, and uh, um, uh, Amazon has offered some uh, uh, accents. So you could have a, a an Australian accent or um, a British accent. And I just haven't gotten into that quite yet. Because interestingly, even though this is about British Premier League soccer, most of my users are in America, which is kind of interesting. Um, and suggestions, I'm going to randomize. Oh, pluralize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pluralize. It's, it's um, you know, we don't want to say one goals. You want to say one goal, two goals, you know? And so we, we take a, a, a fair bit of effort to, to do that, that sort of thing. And that sort of thing, they're small things, but each one of those things reduces the friction. So now let's go and look at the um, uh, statistics and the voice model. And so um, I start here just because um, I struggled for so long by having, you know, 20 users a month. And now I've got nearly 17,000, which is, which is uh, fairly awesome. And I'm not sure what, how I accomplish that. Uh, when you're writing skills, um, you always ask Amazon, can you promote my skill? And Amazon's answer is, once your skill is popular, we'll help you, po we'll help you popularize it. It's like, there's a flaw in that argument. Um, but um, uh, I'm not. I'm not sure how we how we got there. But um, so let's go. To, let's go to um, let's go to build, and I'll show you how you write the voice the voice language. Because there's the voice language, and then there's the the lambda, and you can write the lambdas in any language you want. Um, you know why you wouldn't do Python? I don't know, but you can you can do anything. You you can do lambdas in Fortran if that's if that floats your boat. Um, so we have interaction models, and then we have slots. And so I'm going to take a look at the slot that's pre Premier League team, because you can say, Amanda, ask me, you know, tell me about Arsenal. You can also say, Amanda, ask me about the Gunners, which is their um, one of their nicknames. So here you see a bunch of list of the teams, and this is the canonical ID that gets returned. But here are all the other things. So, you know, Manchester United, we usually say Man U. For Manchester City, we often say citizens. Um, Liverpool, we often say, what the hell are you doing this year? But we also sometimes say the Reds. Um, and so you can have all these, all these synonyms. And it again, it gives the appearance that um, this isn't just some random piece of code written by some developer you know, in Boston, you know, if, um, you know, Lester, my, my, my favorite team, Lexer, Lester, it's the Foxes, man, you know, I got to say the Foxes. Um, and so it's very, very easy to, to add these and add all these, these, uh, these synonyms. So then we can go to, let's go to the interaction model and go to intents. And Amazon gives you all these pre-built intents, like cancel, help, no, and stop. Um, and one of the things that's actually quite striking to me is that um, there's something I have to fix in my system because you notice at one point I, I didn't like the answer she was giving me and I said stop. And that went to the stop intent. But apparently a lot of people are saying shut up. And it never occurred to me that people would be kind of rude. But so I so shut up is being translated to 
I don't know. And so I actually want to add shut up as a polite, Alexa, please stop. Um, but um, let's look at um, let's look at red card intent. And a red card is, is if you've done a real bad foul, you get um, kicked out of the game and your team plays short for a while. Um, and so you could say red cards, you could say who is red cards, you could say which players have red cards. Um, you know, it's not, you can you can get as clever as as you want. These are these are all things that someone could say. So you want to be as forgiving in what in what you accept for the person to say, um, and then as clear on the way out as possible. So there's all these these um, uh, in, intentions, um, and then you can you look over here and you see um, utterance conflicts. Um, I don't have any because I've I've gone through and and specified. Um, conditions, but like if I said, um, Amanda, tell me who has the most cards, um, it wouldn't know whether it meant red or yellow cards. And so at this point, you know, I could have gone in and said, yeah, you mean red or yellow, but I chose just not to let that happen because most people won't make that kind of mistake, but you can put that in um, if you like. Um, we can then come here and look at, at uh, the analytics and they give you all kinds of analytics. And the most, the coolest one is this one, which is the interaction path. So this says lots of people say, ask about fixtures and then they go to stop. A, a lot of people go to relegation and then results and results and results. But sometimes they go from relegation back to relegation and reprompt is if you didn't hear what they said. And then results can go to team and go to other. So there's, it tells you what's going on, which is really very, very helpful. Um, you Brian, can look at, how, often, how often do those update? Um, is that fairly no, real time? No, no. Um, it's, I, I, it's, it's either daily or weekly. I will say that my patterns haven't changed for a long, long time. Um, but you can also then look at, at um, uh, performance. So most of my, most of the time we have very high confidence of what the person's saying. And most of the time, um, you know, I'm responding in, you know, a hundred milliseconds. Now I will say that when I added images to the system, um, all of a sudden my response time got much worse because it was having to go to S3 and, and pull down images. And then I added CloudFront and the response time went back down, which was wonderful. Um, CloudFront, CloudFront rocks. Um, but you can get all kinds of all kinds of information. I mean, a 50 millisecond response time is um, is really quite, quite good. Um, friction is one that I'm I'm just learning about and there's very very little documentation on this um ba, 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 ba. and let's see um and so you can see here that people say shut up and um and and i will say i th this is a place where amazon doesn't give me a lot of information because it says it's a 58th percentile, but that's low. But people are saying shut up or turn off. So it gives you clues on extra things that you would want to do. Um, and then there's, um, oh, oh, okay. Oh yeah, the origin. So one of the other tricks that you have to do that's often helpful in a skill is, um, you notice when I, ask people, when I asked about the table, it listed me the first five. And then it said, do you want to hear more? And I could have said yes and gone on and gone on. Um, but uh, people often don't want to hear the whole list. It's like enough already. And for humans, we can understand the body language of, uh, but in the, these voice dialogues, you really can't. So it's important to give little chunks of information and say, do you want more? Do you want more? Um, and so one of the places where I need to do that is right now I'll tell you about uh, the results. I'll tell you the last 10 weeks, uh, sorry, the last 10, 10 games. Um, but I have to modify that a little bit because before the pandemic, there were always 10 games a week, 
10 games, 10 games, 10 games. But now because of COVID, games are postponed, games are rescheduled, all kinds of things. So it's, it's all higgledy-piggledy. So I wanted to be able to say, you know, when someone says uh, results, I give them some and then ask if they want more and then some and ask if they want more. Um, let's see. Um, another thing is, uh, let me just, is intense. Um, okay, so this shows me what all the intentions are. Now it's interesting that the, the top four intentions are stop, cancel, yes and no. Well, because those are invoked all the time. Um, but then you see all these, these other intents and these are all the verbs I have. One of the things that has been surprising to me is that uh, some of the verbs that I offered, um, no one seems to care about. <laughs> um, uh, like I had this, I have this great ability to tell you who committed most of the fouls. No one seems to care. <laughs> and, and it's disappointing, but by looking at this chart, I can say, I don't need to put any more effort into that. Um, you know, most people are just are going after, um, you know, results in the table. So if I want to do, if I want to um, put more information, put more effort in, I should put it uh, there. Um, let's see, fallback handlers. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the gist. I, I'd, I'd say uh, open it to a uh, to, to questions. And, and actually, the one thing I'll say is that the reason I actually wrote this skill in the first place was because I was interested. I wanted not to have to go on the web. I wanted to be able to say, hey, what's going on? Um, and then it just sort of expanded from there. But the, the, the gist of it is have short responses. Don't ask the person to memorize too much by giving them a whole lot of verbs. Have it be natural for them to fall back. Um, uh, and, and vary things. So questions. Yeah. Does anyone have questions for Brian? Feel free to, uh, unmute, turn the camera on, whatever. Uh, we have an Amazon Alexa expert here to help us out. Uh, something that I thought I noticed Yeah, you tried to do fouls a couple times and didn't recognize that as a request for fouls. Yeah, yeah, I'm. I'm really. I, I'm quite intrigued by that because that. Um, but uh, you said that nobody seems to be requesting file fouls. Maybe it's not recognizing that. Well, you know that's really interesting. Let me try an experiment because what I've noticed is that the show, um, kind of sucks in terms relatively compared to some of the other devices. So let me. I'm going to mute that, and unmute the dot and say. Alexa, ask Premier League about fouls. The players with the most fouls are Thomas Sosik, mm -hmm. with West Ham United has 50, Pierre Emile Hojbjerg, with Spurs has 47, Yves Bissoma, with Brighton has 44, Mateusz Klitsch, with Leeds has 44, Ashley Barnes, with Burnley has 43, say get table, or say a team name. You can also ask about touches. Alexa, stop. Nice. I've noticed something similar with the okay. shows. Hope to see you next time. My, yeah. my yeah. show, I've got <clears throat> in my kitchen, I've got a show on the counter. I have a Alexa dot, like the latest generation in the living room, which is in the same room. And then I have an Echo B thermostat, which has an Alexa embedded in it. And as many times I'll ask for a timer in the kitchen and the dot all the way across the room will start a timer and not the show sitting like two feet from me. Right. Well, it at a certain level, it makes sense because um, th this device has 12 uh, directional microphones. Um, if you look at if you look at the show, um, I believe it has at most four. There's four little dots here. Um, so mm -hmm. it's not surprising to me that it's not as good um, at uh, at hearing, but uh, yeah, I mean, it, 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 it is funny, but that was a fair question about, you know, maybe it just wasn't going there. Um, uh, I tend to ask every one of the verbs periodically just to see what happens, just so I make sure that nothing weird happens when I've asked all the verbs. <laughs> is there a framework for, for these say, sorts of skills? 
Say again? Is there a testing framework for these sorts of skills that you could, you know, have some sort of automation that's making sure everything is, is working as you expect? Yes, there, there absolutely is. I mean, part of the thing is that the, um, uh, the Alexa SDK has, the Alexa SDK has, has evolved tremendously. And I did it, I wrote all this back in, back in the dark ages. There's now um, essentially GitOps for, for skills. Um, now, one of the things you can do, and, and actually let me, let me go back and screen. Oh, am I still screen sharing? Yeah, yeah. you are. Okay, okay. One of the things you can you can do is uh, they have this whole uh, test setup, and um, so actually, I'm gonna um, uh, Alexa, and I'm gonna say I, I'm actually curious. I'm gonna say ask about cards. So, um, so it, it, it's interesting in that you can see here. This is this is what um, got sent, and this is this is the response. Hope to hope to see you next time. So you can come in here and um, play with it. So, for example, in that case, I'd never tried actually in my testing to say ask about cards, and it does seem I'm not sure how it got from cards to um, you know, the results, but so you can, you can, um, test all this. There, there are, there are frameworks that will, um, uh, randomize words for you and, and see what the system system does. Hmm. No, I mean, I've noticed with some Alexa applications, it's tricky for it to pick up even on its trigger word. Like for example, I have, I have a, a Moen sink faucet in the kitchen and it sounds ridiculous but it's actually kind of fun sometimes but i could say ask mullen to turn on the water or pour to dis, dis to dispense one cup of water i get it right maybe one time out of ten it seems like and so i don't know if this their utterances aren't tuned well or if the words are too close or saying ask mullen or tell mullen it just is because maybe the Hoosier mumble accent, we don't enunciate well enough. Like it's a hard one for us to say. Do they have something that can help you like guide you through, oh, people in the Southeast are gonna have trouble saying that word, you know, clearly to your device. Ah, well, what you can do is you can, you, there actually is training that you can um, uh, give to Amanda. So if you go in, if you go into your app and, and, and I think it's like voice training or something, um, it will ask you to read uh, some stuff and it will hear how you say those things. Um, uh, that can help you distinguish um, uh, various people in the house. So if if I say, Amanda, play me music, I'm likely to get Fleetwood Mac. If my son says, play me some music, he's gonna get some hardcore rap because it knows who, who we both are based on our, our, on our voice. Um, but that actually, I forgot to say one of the other uh, things that uh, helps with the uh, maintaining of the illusion is that uh, they've added um, uh, whisper mode. So it used to be that, you know, the last thing I would do before going to sleep is say, you know, Alexa, turn out the lights. And it would say, okay. And that was less than ideal. Um, and so now if you whisper to it, you say, Alexa, what time is it? You couldn't even you couldn't even hear that, but you could tell. But it was actually let me just Alexa, what time is it? Okay, she's whispering really well. Um, <laughs> uh, um, but that that's great. The other thing is that when when uh, uh, Amazon noticed it. Uh, People were starting. Were, were saying thank you. So um, you know, and I won't whisper this time. Alexa, what time is it? It's five fifty-eight p.m. Ah, now it's interesting that it turned off there. 
most of the time, um, so anyway, people would ask it a, a question, it would respond, and then people would say thank you, but it had stopped listening. They've added this follow on mode so that it will generally listen and it, you can then say thank you and people like that. And then it will, let me just say, Alexa, what's the weather tomorrow? Tomorrow in Littleton, there will be partly sunny weather with a high of 55 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 38 degrees. Thank you. What the heck? You must not have follow on on that device. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I've moved devices around so I could get. Because you've had to, you have to turn that on. I don't think it's by default the follow on. Okay. Because I, I use the follow on because most of the time I'm using it to turn lights on and off, and so I'll ask you to turn one light off, and then I'll say turn the next light off. But now the compound commands work. You can say, Alexa, turn off. Oh, I better be careful. Uh, you know, turn off said light and turn off the living room light and turn off the kitchen lights, and it'll all three will go off at the same time. Yeah, so actually, have you have you experimented with like the compound commands? Can you use the compound commands inside of one app? Because I know in the shopping list app it works now. Because I can say add X, Y, and Z to my shopping list, and I'll get three items on my shopping list instead of one item that says X, Y, and Z. Um, yeah, that's up that's up to an individual skill. If I if I said uh, Amanda, how did Arsenal and Liverpool do? You know, it yeah. it, it, it would have it would have uh, it would have no idea. And there were some, there were some, um, there's some food item that we always used that had an and in the word. Um, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, if I said um, add half and half to the shopping list, it would say, <laughs> I've added half. I've also added half to your shopping list. And it's like, <laughs> okay, nice try, nice try. Um, so this is this is all uh, an evolution. It's all. It's all uh, 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 best effort. Um, uh, some people have added um, in-home or, or in-skill purchasing. Um, so, uh, you know, uh, one of my friends has a, has a skill that will uh, let the Amanda device hypnotize you for like weight loss and stuff. Um, and there's absolutely no way I'm gonna do that. I'm not letting this, this, this device uh, hypnotize me no matter what, but, um, uh, that skill lets you purchase, you know, ex extra things, and um, you know you can make some money off this. Oh yeah, I guess I, I should say about about making money on on Alexa. There's you know a couple hundred thousand skills in the in the Alexa store now. It's very hard to get um, recognized because you want a skill whose name is obvious after the fact, but not so obvious that everyone else has done it. So there's probably a thousand sleep skills now. Um, so it has, it, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a tricky thing, but if you get, a, if your skill um, by hook or crook um, gets to be what they call high engagement, Amazon will actually send you some money. Um, so my skill has gotten into the, you know, 17,000 high engagement. So I get about a hundred bucks a month, which is I'm not going to say no to that. Um, my friend with the with the um, hypnosis skill asserts that he's getting like five figures a month, which is um, hmm. sort of crazy. But you can also ask for you can ask, actually pay for add-in things. So I have toyed with the notion of saying, "Hey, I could set it up so that I know what your favorite team is, and when you ask me about the team, I'll sing their their song um, while playing the results." Except most of the songs in um, British soccer are not suitable for work. Um, <laughs> uh, they they really are very very hardcore. Um, so anyway, so there are a few ways to make money, but but don't 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 think you're gonna uh, re recoup it. I mean, I've I've got a friend who wrote this amazing game, and he was getting like a thousand bucks for a few months back, and he figured he put in about two hundred fifty thousand dollars into the development of the game. So it's like, don't do it do because you like it, not because you think you're going to make any money. What is the audience like? You, you mentioned your app or your skill was very US based. Is Alexa kind of all over? Is it still a, a heavy US audience? Um, it, it is it it is all over. Um, uh, actually, let me just see if I um, distribution. Um, so I've got it in um, 
England, US, Canada, um, Australia, um, and, and India, um, uh, which are all pretty easy, um, you know, because they're all sort of variants of, of English. I, I have, I believe there actually is a Japanese um, one where you can speak Japanese and, and, and back and forth. So it's, it's, I mean, they're pretty common, but they're not, you know, it's not something that everybody has. Um, but, um, you know, it, it, and, and actually if I, if I go to my um, analytics uh, summary, so, Go to, let's go to 30 days. Okay, so uh, where, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, up here. Part of the thing is that Amazon is continuously improving the UI. Um, so if I go to, so 17,000, if I look in the UK, it's 2,000, uh, Canada, Six, wow, Canada, you fail me. Uh, Australia, 92, India, 10. Okay, well, um, go US at US 17,000. Um, Is that so, just a marketing coincidence? Or that, that seems incredible to me. I, I would have thought that, that you... Yeah, you would have thought that, that, that England, England would be the target the target market. Yeah. Um, well, and surely some of these 19,000 people would have told somebody else about it in another country. <laughs> right. Well, but, but, but it's funny. There's some, there's some really sort of interesting things about this in that um, uh, you can also get um, ratings on these, just like any other Amazon product. And there's this, um, there's this woman in Germany who rates a lot, a lot of skills, but she's confused. She thinks that if she loves the skill, she should give it one star because one is number one. And so she is just, and, and a one star rating is death. Okay. And so, and many of us have spoken to Amazon and said, she clearly doesn't understand because she said, this skill is amazing, one star. And, and Amazon has said, we are not even gonna touch asking someone to change their review. So like I got I got dinged on my British version of the skill because they said, how can we trust your statistics when you can't spell Premier League? And it's like, I did spell it correctly. But but, but you know, there's there's nothing I can nothing I can do. And I've had I've had people say, this skill is so bad it wouldn't even work before I installed it. And I'm like, right. <laughs> so <laughs> so who knows? Um, that's incredible. <laughs> Any other, uh, wrap up questions for Brian while we got him? or I could talk to him all night and maybe we'll have to do that over. We're, we're going to do a quick social afterwards over in gather, uh, Mary Beth will put a link in the chat and also in the, in Indie AWS channel in Slack, but I want to make sure anybody who's got questions that are of utmost importance, highly relevant to the talk, uh, could get those out now. And also say I'm on, you know, LinkedIn. I think I'm the only Brian Charbox. Um, Are you and, on Twitter? Uh, I tried finding you on Twitter. I don't think I found you I'm, on Twitter. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm B Tarbox, I think, at Twitter. But I joined Twitter back when everyone was like, hey, I'm going to the grocery store. Hey, I put some eggs in my cart. And I'm like, I don't care. I don't care, man. <laughs> so I, I just never, I just never got into Twitter. But I'm. I'm on LinkedIn and Brian Tarbox uh, at um, dot, sorry Brian Tarbox dot, dot, um, org. Sorry, we've got links to links to all kinds of stuff. You can reach me there. Um, so. Awesome. 